Meanwhile, in western Ukraine, U.S.-led military drills have kicked off in a show of support for Kiev's leaders. America's envoy in Ukraine has been busy uploading pictures from the drills on his Twitter page. However, some bloggers noticed something just wasn't quite right. Let's bring in Marina Potnaya here to tell us more about that. Marina, so the U.S. envoy has been left red-faced. Tell us more. Well, U.S. Ambassador to Ukraine, Jeffrey Pyatt, took to Twitter Monday morning to present America's narrative of what's happening in Ukraine. But unfortunately, his version of events have proven to be fabricated and manipulated. Ambassador Pyatt first posted a picture about the military exercises happening in western Ukraine. And Internet users discovered that the photo he uploaded had already been published on July 31st by the website newsli.ru. Now, also, the U.S. Ambassador Twitter feed uh, had a picture of a German tank allegedly uh, taking part in exercises. His tweet said that the Leopard 2 tank is taking part in rapid, rapid trident uh, near Lvov. Now, however, as noted by Twitter users, the image that the U.S. envoy posted was actually taken from a YouTube video uploaded in October 2013. Nearly one year ago. Now, of course, these errors don't bode well for Ambassador Pyatt, who's already been caught interfering in Ukraine's internal affairs. Earlier this year, a leaked conversation between Pyatt and the U.S. Assistant Secretary of State Victoria Newland revealed uh, the two of the, the two of them, these two U.S. officials, discussing who should and who shouldn't be part of Ukraine's new government. Now, the U.S. administration has been relying on Twitter in part to shift public opinion surrounding the crisis in Ukraine, but it's clear that Washington does want to present its version of what's happening there. But obviously, the PR campaign falls apart when the world discovers that fake and outdated pictures are being presented as fact. Yeah, Marina, the world will not be duped anymore. Artis Marina Potnaya, they following up on that story for us. Thank you.